Washington gets set to vote on a key piece of financial reform. We will have that and more right here, right now on the News Hub. Good morning and welcome. I'm Simon Constable. Well, Washington getting set to vote on the so-called Volcker Rule. Many financial institutions are worried about how this policy of financial reform will impact the way they do business going forward. Supporters argue that the regulation will protect the taxpayers from bailing out the banks in a future crisis. However, some critics argue that regulating the past won't safeguard the future. One such critic joins me now. It's Mary Beth Fisher. She's a managing director at Society General and also head of U.S. interest rate strategy, which is an enormous role. Thank you for taking <laughs> you for um, <laughs> some, some time away. We, obviously, we don't want to have another $789 billion bailout of, the, of banks on the taxpayer dime. Right. You don't think this is, is, the, is the way to do it. Why, why not? I don't. Um, but can I step back since you did quote uh, the the TARP amount. Um, the TARP was originally funded for the, uh, the financial crisis at $700 billion. Only $250 billion of that ever actually went to the banks. Okay. Um, in terms of that $250 billion, the banks have completely repaid it mm. and paid interest to the tune of $280 billion. So there was not one dime of taxpayer money that was lost. And in fact, the taxpayers actually made about $30 billion off okay. the entire bailout. But, but get back to the, the, the Volcker rule is about not not the idea is that we don't want banks to gamble with 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 money that's federally insured by the FDIC. That's the idea here is that they can't go out and, and speculate. You say that that's not going to work. Um, I think that first of all, it's there's already laws in place. There, the Federal Reserve Act 23A and 23B already protect FDI insur insured money. The yeah. depositors, mom and dad's money, does not go to speculative trading. It mm. doesn't. It's already against the law. It's been against the law for years. Whenever they put that or regulation originally in place, so this is really about not wanting investment banks or subsidiaries of banks um, to make speculative profits. Um, now that's kind of legislating a business model. That's deciding mm. that banks shouldn't proprietarily trade their own money. Okay, you can do that. Um, but then you're saying you're going to put in a sequence of regulations that's going to say what you think is proprietary trading. Okay, so the public, um, the public who has their money in banks, those of them with bank accounts, are very worried uh, about a, uh, you know, not being able to get their money out and another taxpayer bailout. Um, if if another if a bank in the future goes down or the, the financial system looks like it's it, it's in crisis. Should, should we say, okay, the banks can fail, the FDIC insured money it wasn't used, it was on another part of the bank, we're all going to be fine. Is that, what you're, is that what you're saying? Or are you saying, well, this is not going to help that, we're still on the hook? I'm saying that proprietary trading wasn't a big part of the financial crisis. Mm. I mean, you're sort of trying to take a swing at something that wasn't a big player in the financial crisis to begin with. Mm. So I don't think that Will this dampen down some of the risks that banks take? Absolutely, it really yeah. will. But not um, enough is, is what you're saying. And, and, and very quickly, what, yeah. what would be enough? And it's wow. a tough question. Yeah. It's, it's a very tough question because no one, in, no, no one wants to see their deposits disappear and no, no. one has, um, we're, all, we're all strapped. We're strapped for cash. We don't want to bail out bankers again. Sorry. Right. We paid your money back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But I know it won't happen again. Anyway, interesting stuff. Thank you very much, Mary Beth of Society General.